Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for CrackBerry.com. I'm going to take a quick look at Uber Twitter as part of our ultimate Twitter client roundup. Um, so we can see we have the Uber Twitter icon there on the home screen. Go ahead and pop it open. And the first thing that shows up is the timeline. I have this set in the bar mode. There's also a different display too, which is uh, the bubbles. So it depends how you like it aesthetically. Uh, we can see the whole timeline laid out. We have the names, the tweets. You can change the the font on the tweets if you don't like the uh, size of the font and also you can make the avatar smaller so we can see here if we run through just shows all the tweets in the timeline um, you can jump into a tweet um, you can see the the name and the twitter name date time the service they used and you can actually see a lot of the profile details here as well um, you can check out the followers favorites updates and all the bio info which is very cool um, so that's pretty much the basic layout of the timeline. If you jump all the way up to the top here, we have tabs for mentions and direct messages. I have the mentions and direct messages integrated into my timeline. But if you choose not to, there's tabs up top so you can jump into each one individually. You see the uh, mentions in my timeline show up in yellow. And we'll go ahead and pop into the menu. The one thing about Uber Twitter is that it has a gigantic menu and almost wish that there were options to kind of trim down the menu and remove items that you didn't use. but here we have all the basic Twitter options. We have new tweet, refresh, view, uh, our mentions, direct messages, reply, retweet, follow, favorite, link. And then we have some other cool, uh, these are more of the web options that are integrated in the client, which is very cool. We have the friends, followers. You can actually edit part of your profile. Uh, then we have favorites, your timeline, and lists. And we have find people, go to users, search Twitter trending topics which is cool if you like to keep up on the trending topics you can jump in here it shows you all the trending topics and it actually gives you a description of what each is or how it started or anything like that so like you can check out follow Friday it gives you the whole description about it and the hashtag which is pretty cool now we'll jump back into our menu and we scroll down we have everyone near you everyone uber bar maintenance um, they have copy tweet email tweet you can report spam the email tweets cool you can forward a tweet through email to people, which is nice. Uh, then we have account options, feedback, check for update, all that other good stuff. Uh, the other thing I should mention too, this is the paid version of Uber Twitter. It's $4.99 for the year, um, and it kills the banner ads, which I totally think it's well worth the $5 to get rid of the, the ads in the free version, because it's quite annoying if you use Twitter often enough to see the ads pop up, because they'll actually um, jump up as sponsored ads in the middle of your timeline, which is no fun. We'll go ahead and check out the options. The other thing too, just like the menu, there's a ton of options um, and they're all laid out and you have to run through the whole thing here, but um, we can see our options. When you start out, we have the login. You can actually have Uber Twitter update your Google Talk status if you put in your Google Talk info. Um, they have geotagging, geo um, so you can put your location on every tweet if you want to have the option for that. A um, couple different options there. You can have um, Uber Twitter update the location field in your Twitter profile when you send a tweet based on your cell phone location. And then they have the options here for how to determine your location. Then this is the font we have for the timelines. You can see you can pick from any number of fonts. You can change the size. So if you have trouble reading, you can throw it up really big. Or if you want to have a smaller one to see more in their timeline, you can do that as well. And then we have um, another font for when you're composing a tweet. Then you have the option here to change your avatars so they're smaller images so that you can see more of the text in the timeline. And then we have the refresh, which is very cool. So if you you can put it down anywhere from a minute up to four hours, you can just have it manually refresh. And then you have the option to have it auto refresh on open as well. Um, and then you can see here we have the different option for the bubble or the bar layout. Um, and then just a couple other options. The friend picker, which is very cool. If you have that enabled when you type the uh, at sign to put a friend into your tweets, it'll actually show a list of all your friends so you can just scroll through and select it. So I know I have trouble a lot of times spelling my friend's Twitter name, so it's cool to have that pop up and then you can just run through and pick it out. And then we press enter to send tweets, so after you type a tweet, if you hit, a tweet, if you hit enter, that'll send the tweet so you don't have to hit the trackpad or anything like that. On our notification options, um, we have the option to enable, this is for everything, and then we have merge mentions and DMs into the timeline and then notify for new tweets, replies, or DMs. So this is all totally customizable to what you prefer. Um, and then we have our caching options, the max tweets in the timeline, max to retrieve, and the icon size. 
and then we have our network options um, the option to leave it on the background unclosed so this is if you have that checked and you hit the end key or you close out it'll still leave the um, the app open and receive new tweets in the background your picture upload service uh, the retweets we have the original which allows editing new is no editing or you have the option to have it ask you every time and you can use twit longer if you happen to tweet more than 140 characters and the <clears throat> Twitter API and tweet there so that's pretty much it for the options um, not really a whole lot else going on it's probably one of my favorite Twitter apps it works very well I have the refresh set to two minutes um, it seems to work well I had some trouble with it when I first started out that it wasn't updating correctly but I changed around some network options and it works great now but as far as the options go with having available all the lists and the trending topics and the profile options and everything it really beats out the other Twitter clients in that aspect so that is Uber Twitter for Blackberry it is $4.99 for a year of the ad free version or you can download a free version which contains ads that build into the timeline which get kind of annoying so I think it's definitely worth the $4.99 uh, you can check out more at ubertwitter.com